If you are one of the thousands of students all across the world who are currently struggling with fractions, this really doesn't have to be the case because there are only four main skills that you need to know to answer any question on fractions in your exams. Let's start with multiplying fractions. So how do we actually multiply two fractions? Well, it's really, really straightforward. All we have to do is multiply the two numerators and the two denominators together. So two times by three gets us six and five times by four gets us 20. So we have six over 20. The only thing to check is if your fraction can cancel down. In this case, ours can. We divide top and bottom by two to get our final answer, which is three over 10. So moving on to dividing fractions then. So what do we have to do for this one? Well, the first thing is we need to flip our second fraction. So by flip, I mean the three and the four are going to swap places. And then we need to do one other thing, which is the divide will become a multiply. So we end up with two over five multiplied by four over three. And from here, it's exactly the same as multiplying fractions, which we've just done. So two times by four and five times by three gets us our final answer, which is eight over 15. If you want to learn even more about fractions, then head on over to my website, benthetutor.com, where you can see complete courses for many different topics, including fractions, where we cover the theory in much more detail. We have worked examples, exam style questions, and then I've even made an exam for you to do at the end where you can get marked afterwards. Any purchase you make over there, use Ben the Tutor for 10% off as well. Moving on to adding fractions then. So this again is really, really easy. So what we have to do, first of all, is multiply the three and the five. So this is called cross multiplying. We multiply the numerator of one fraction by the denominator of another. So we get 15. We then do the same for the other two. So we have two times by four and we add these together. So 15 plus eight becomes our new numerator for the answer. The final thing is to multiply the two denominators together. So five times by four gets us 20. And then all we have to do is add our 15 and eight to get 23 over 20 as our final answer. Moving on to subtracting fractions, it's very similar to adding fractions. So again, the first thing is to cross multiply. So we have three times by five to get 15, and then we have two times by four to get eight. Notice this time though, instead of adding the 15 and eight, we are taking eight away from 15. The next step is the same. So our two denominators multiply to get 20. And finally, we just need to do our subtraction of 15 take away eight, which gets us seven over 20 as our final answer. So now that you've learned the four different key skills for fractions, you should be in a much better place for answering exam questions in the future. If you do want more practice with exam questions, uh, worked examples, worked solutions, be sure to check out the courses on my website and we go into much more detail with the theory and it's over two hours long, the entire fraction course. So it's got all the information you could possibly need over there. And don't forget to use Ben the Tutor for 10% off. Hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one.